In this video, I'm going to be exploring both the rectangle and polygon commands. To begin with, I will choose the rectangle. Now it asks us to specify the first corner point. So I'm going to click the left mouse. Specify the other corner point. So we want it to be 200 long, for example. Tab for the other length of the side. 100, for example. Hit enter. And there's our rectangle created. Okay. So all we did was to do that again. A rectangle command. Specify the first corner. We want the length of one side to be 200. Tab over. The length of the other side to be 100. 100. Hit enter. And that's our rectangle drawn. Now, we also want to explore the polygon command. So from the drop down menu here, simply select polygon. Now, we are asked to enter the number of sides here. So, if I wanted to create a hexagon, I would hit 6, hit enter, now specify the center of the polygon. Now, either inscribed in circle or circumscribed about circle. So, if we wanted to have one inscribed in a circle, click inscribe circle, we can drag it out like that, or Specify the radius of the circle, 50, hit enter, and that's our hexagon drawn. Now, to show you the circumscribed about a circle, we already have number of sides 6 entered, so we'll hit enter. Specify the center of the polygon. Now we want to choose circumscribed about circle this time. Specify the radius of the circle. 50 again and there we go we have our larger hexagon okay just to demonstrate another polygon we'll choose polygon again number of sides 5 for pentagon hit enter specify, specify the center of the polygon again we have our inscribed our circumscribed about a circle so we'll choose inscribed Enter the radius of the circle and choose 50 again. And there's our pentagon drawn. And you can see also that it is one full polygon. Once you hit delete for this, the entire object will be gone. 